Hi, I'm Georgia and I work as a bioinformatician in medical research, which means every so often I get to attend these awesome events called hackathons. Well, in this case, a datathon. This week, myself and other computational and non-computational researchers from different institutes joined forces to tackle some really important themes in cancer research, including tracking evolution, generating biomarkers, and investigating the tumor microenvironment. I joined this hackathon as a lonely participant, so I was added into a group with other solo participants, which was great. Monday morning consisted of some introductory slides and remarks from the organizers, including describing the data sets we had at our disposal. With multiple public single cell RNA-seq data sets, the Tracer X expression data, and also the TCGA public data sets and some additional copy number calls for these. This includes many different cancer types. So it was good to have such a variety of things that we could address. We also got a refresher on the main research themes that were to be investigated. My team and I discussed our strengths and our interests, and we settled on investigating breast cancer, but specifically the triple negative subtype. And after a quick lunch, we then spent the rest of the afternoon exploring the data sets that we had been given and coming up with our analytical plan for the week. But more on that tomorrow. Two members of my team work at the Bart Cancer Institute. So today, so that we can all work together, we headed on over to meet at Bart so we could all hack it out in a room together. Our analytical plan essentially came in three parts for the hackathon. First of all, create a brand new single cell RNA-seq data set for triple negative breast cancer only. This was essentially a subsetting exercise and then harmonizing some subsetted data. Number two was to then find a signature in the tumor microenvironment at baseline pretreatment that could predict response. And then thirdly, if we found this mysterious signature, associate it and validate it in TCGA with associated clinical information. It's day three of the hackathon and I'm uh, no makeup god looking very disheveled <laughs> working from home today so there wasn't many meeting rooms for us to book into so we decided to have a work from home day today which I'm feeling really thankful of because it's 11 o'clock and I've been working for two hours instead of one because I can actually just get up and start work at nine o'clock rather than having to commute into London. So very happy about that today. Also, because we've spent Monday and Tuesday kind of affirming the project and coming up with a plan, it means that I can then crack on today with my tasks for the hackathon. I'm basically analyzing a single cell RNA-seq data set, which is very handy because my new job told me to learn that. <laughs> So I volunteered to analyze the single cell data set. Um, so very good, Georgia. Basically just gonna spend all day trying to find a signature 
um, in the tumor microenvironment profile of naive treated, well, treatment naive patients for triple negative breast cancer. I'm excited and I also didn't quite realize how much, I mean, I think it's good I go to this stuff. I didn't realize how much data there is out there that's just like open source for you to analyze. I feel like everyone asks me all the time, you know, what bioinformatics projects to do. And here I am doing a bioinformatics project with open source data. But anyway, um, that's that's my little update for today. Um, oh yes, and welcome to the vlog. I haven't really said hello yet. Let's crack on with some coding. Yesterday, I was essentially learning how to use this tool called ScanPy, which is the Python equivalent of Surat. So these are packages used for single cell RNA-seq analysis, and ScanPy is part of the SCverse, which is a really great ecosystem to be aware of if you're coding in Python for omics analysis. Anyway, yesterday I was pushing through one of the public single cell RNA-seq datasets through some code that I generated, but today I was using the code I made yesterday to push through our brand new dataset. But with all new data sets comes finding new edge cases. So essentially the morning was spent finding all of the edge cases and then feeding these back to my teammate who was generating the new Fusion data set. So after we'd got all of the updates sorted for the final polished data set, I could then spend the afternoon as I am here actually pushing through our new data set through my investigatory pipeline to find these signatures in the TME of the triple negative breast cancer. We love data inconsistencies! I calculated a weighted mean gene expression for each patient and then clustered these to define four leading groups of the TME segregating our patients at baseline. And once each patient was assigned to a cluster, then we can start doing differential gene expression analysis using DXC Classic to see which genes might be driving the differences between our groups of patients. And then we could see if any particular cell types were driving these as we were using single cell, not bulk. So we had that resolution, which was pretty cool. Tomorrow is the last day before the presentations, which needs to be just a clean up day. So this was my last chance to actually finish off the analysis before tidying up stuff tomorrow. This morning we presented our bare bones slide deck to one of the organizers for feedback and our main feedback was work on the narrative. So that's what we did, polished our slides and then worked on refining which figures and maybe extra analysis that we could fit in today would be good evidence to include to support our story. I'll tell you what I really love about hackathons is seeing how much you can get done in such a short space of time when you remove perfectionism and put like-minded but diverse people in a team together. 
everyone was commenting on how the thrill of a hackathon just takes you back to a childlike puzzle solving joy and it just reminded all of us why we love being scientists. Back on site, Thursday evening was spent rehearsing our slides, adding a few extra analyses from the TCGA validation work and then generating a proposal for a multiplex IF panel, that's immunofluorescence panel, to explore our findings afterwards. Good evening. So it, it is 20 to 10, so it's 9.40. I left Farringdon, well I left at 6 and I got the 26 past 6 train. So I've just been commuting home for three hours. Well like door to door, three and a half. Oh, I barely slept last night as well. So I feel like I'm running on empty. But um, today was really good at the hackathon. Today was the final day of like wrapping everything up. So we had to get our story straight, get our narrative looking good. We got to present our presentation to one of the PIs and she gave us some feedback, which was really helpful. Even though what we presented was like a bit of like vomit onto a slide deck, but it was still really helpful to have their input. And then tomorrow it's Friday. So tomorrow we get to present what we've basically done all week, which will be really exciting. And I'm actually more than anything excited to see what all the other groups have done, because obviously my team have been working on this kind of tumor microenvironment, triple negative breast cancer project, but actually the ropes were pretty loose. Is that a saying? They gave us free reign. That's what I'm trying to say. They gave us free reign on what to do. And they gave us like three data sets that we could work with and then well, like go wild. So you could have picked any cancer type, any data type that was available. Well, there'll just be such a variety of projects next ne next day. Ah, oh, I need to go to bed. There'll be such a variety of projects um, being, you know, described tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone else has been doing. And then also there hasn't really been that much networking outside of your group in this hackathon. We were all in the same room on Monday for like the intro session, but we weren't actually mingling. There was no like mingle activities, which was a bit sad because like they are really helpful. It was just straight into your groups that you were assigned to. Hopefully tomorrow after the presentations, we'll obviously get to like see what everyone's done and then network and mingle at the end. So that'll be really good. It's been a really great week actually. And as I said on my um, what to expect at a hackathon video, it has been tiring, like you're you're kind of like on it the whole time with new people, working on new stuff. So it's, it is very intense. I've had a really good time. I feel like I've learned a lot. Also, I feel like the, the two PhD students that um, have been in my team are so quick at coding. <laughs> like, I felt really slow. I feel like that doesn't bode well for a hackathon. Like in a hackathon, you just need to like bash out some stuff and then look for the signal whereas I get really concerned about like the process and the flow and the plan. I like building a narrative and having oh hello why have I come down here? <laughs> I like building a narrative and having a flow. You know they're nice schemas. I love making a schema. I just feel like I need to understand the whole picture doing a story and actually if you've ever read Surrounded by Idiots which is a very good book about the different personality types. I am defo a bit of yellow because when I'm trying to get someone on board with my idea, I want to take them on a journey. I want to get them emotionally invested. I'm hacked out, I'm hacked out, but I've had a really nice time. So that's really good. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Welcome aboard this service to London King's Cross. The next station is 